Hi, and welcome to the Gardening Mugwump. My name is Ruth, and today we're gonna take a look behind me. Last week we planted up that bad boy, and there's little babies. There's little babies. So we're gonna take a look at that. And then I thought I would also start some seeds in soil. So we're gonna decide what we're gonna start. You're gonna help me make this decision because I'm not sure what I wanna start. We'll see. Um, but basically, that grow light there, that part of the arrow garden, I'm just gonna plop a tray with like seed cell things, you'll see. Um, and we'll get those planted up and see if we can start germinating those bad boys. So yeah, let's get into it. Okie dokes, so here we are at the arrow garden farm 24. Is it a plus? Sure, let's call it. Let's do it. Let's call it that. And we have little sprouts. Look, so nice. It's been one week, seven days. What? Okay, now that I've made you dizzy, let's pull it back slowly. And we're gonna have to look at our little chart of goodness here. So this is the chart of goodness. So that we can tell what's what, right? So, in the back, we have, I think, one tobacco flower. That's a tobacco flower right there, a Nicotiana. Look at that. And so far, I haven't really seen, oh, oh, there's a second tobacco flower. Excuse my nails. They, they have been, oh, and a third. What? So, all, I planted three tobacco flowers, all three are up. Uh, let's see, these are all delphiniums, and they have not sprouted yet. That's all right. But this, that, right there, that's a Bells of Ireland. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's a Bells of Ireland. The other two aren't up yet, but that's all right. And let's take a look. Oh, do I see some green in there? Do I see some green? That might be a little bit of green right there. What's that? What is it? I think it's Canterbury Bells. Yes. And then these, these bad boys are all Gomfrina. Like, how fun is that? All of these guys. I'm not sure if he sprouted yet or not, but maybe he's still, maybe he's still waking up. And then over here, this is Salpiglossus. These right here. And I think that's Echinacea. Like all of these guys are Echinacea right here. And then this is more Salpiglossus. And these guys are Honeywort. Look at them. So awesome. Let's see. Oh. These big boys over here are nasturtiums. So they are starting to pop open. Really excited for those. And then these guys, the columbine have not really started coming up yet. Sorry, I think I just did some crazy stuff. They're not up yet, but the moss rose, these tiny little teeny tiny guys all along here. Look, there's two. Look, there's two. Look, there's two. What? Oh, there's a little something in there. What is that? That's not a moss rose. That's bee balm. This one. That one. And I think that's bee balm. And yep, that's bee balm. More moss rose here all along the bottom. Yes! So excited. So, again, only a weekend. Basically, you know, planted up the uh, put seeds in little pods, two per if I could fit them. Um, the nasturtiums, there was only one seed per, and then the honeywort because they were they were like larger seeds. So everything else though, one seed or a couple seeds, excuse me. Super stoked that, like. Seven days later, I have little little baby baby 
seedlings starting to come in. That's, I'm like so, so happy. So that is so far what is up. Now let's get you set up so you can uh, see the seed tray I've got for starting seeds in soil and we'll get that planted up and hopefully it can fit over here and we'll just leave uh, this part of the air garden kind of blank for right now. And once the seedlings in the soil start to germinate and, they, you know, and, and start getting uh, put outside and hardened off, then we'll come back and actually do another set of, uh, like put in some more stuff in the aero garden. And I think I will probably do a second set of seed starting over here once all of these have, you know, basically grown up enough to be uh, hardened off and then put out into the garden. I think because, I mean, it's early enough in the season to have like a whole second set. Maybe a third set? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. All right. So let's plant some seeds into some soil. See what happens. All right. So here I have basically a tray. Little, little tray thing right here, thing, thing, yeah. And these are two inch by, uh, I don't I forget how deep they are, but they're fairly deep. Um, I don't know what to call them. Seed trays, maybe? Um, I realize that you can get things that are much smaller than this, like each cell is smaller than this. You're like a 72 count, whatever. Um, but this is what I have, and so this is what I'm going to use. Also, you know, I'm not producing for, you know, a farm or, or a cut flowers or a vegetable market or, you know, anything like that. So this is just me playing around. And quite honestly, I was thinking that the plants, once they, you know, get to seedling stage, they can probably stay in these for a little bit longer because they have more room for root growth. So I might not have to pop them up into bigger pots before then setting them out in the garden and like planting them out, right? So I'm, I'm seeing if this saves a step. I don't know, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but this is what I think I'm gonna plant. All right, first up, strawberries. Um, I got Toscana, Toscana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've tried with star with strawberries a couple of times before last year, um, and was not successful <laughs> in either instance. So we're gonna try it one more time, and I'm gonna plant up two, uh, two trays packs, whatever, two of these things. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that is, um, and each of these is, is six cells. So that's 12, hopefully, strawberry plants by the time everything is said and done. And then in this bad boy, I love snow peas. So I'm going to start some of those and uh, see if we can get some, uh, get, get to get in here earlier in the season. Same thing. I love, I also love, uh, green beans and these are the french filet and they're bush variety and they're like they remain small they're like a quarter inch uh wide and i love that like i love the the little itty bitty i they're called harry cover in french <laughs> i probably just butchered that but whatever um these i grew last year um had pretty good success with and um so yeah super excited for those um, another thing, I'm not sure if this is, uh, gonna work out, but I, you know, honestly, we're just gonna try it. Um, the spinach, Bloomsdale Long Standing. Uh, you know, we're, so it says so directly outdoors as soon as the ground can be worked, but we're gonna try it in, uh, inside first and see if I can get them up, because here's the other thing, like, we have critters around. We have squirrels that love to destroy uh, seedlings. Uh, we have deer, like, luckily we've got our, our backyard is fenced in, so we don't necessarily have to deal with the deer. 
Um, but I think there's probably, there's like cats and I think voles. We got a lot of issues. So the plan is to start this indoors and, and, you know, basically get, get it protected until it's big enough to kind of fend for itself. You know what I mean? We'll see. We'll see. And then last but certainly not least is lime basil because I just need something that smells real good. And uh, last year I grew cinnamon basil and lemon basil in the arrow garden, and which was awesome. But my lime basil never germinated in there. So I have yet to experience the joy that is lime basil. So we're going to get started. Um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna plant six of them and be sniffing on them here shortly, hopefully. We'll see. So basically, I'm gonna follow the instructions on the seed packet as far as like how far to, to you know, how deep to plant them. Um, and then I will lightly water them in. This soil is already moistened. Ooh, moist. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's a terrible word. Um, so it's already like, you know, a little bit moist, but um, I'll water everything in. And then from then on, I will actually bottom water. So just kind of pop one out and put put a you know put some water in the bottom and they will wick up wick up uh, what they need as as they continue to grow along all right so I'm gonna speed through this part and show you the finished results oh, so excited let's do this This packet of strawberries, I told you, I told you, I had, uh, had some issues. <laughs> Cannot get strawberries to save my life. But here we go. So I'm planting two uh, kind of diagonally from each other in each cell. So I've got one cell done. Let's get the rest of them. are tiny. They're tiny. So I'm gonna get my toothpick. That's right. Hold on. Toothpick to the rescue. Where you at, toothpick? All right. And here it is. Toothpick. figure this out okay so this is what I have it's like coated on the back I don't know this is probably not gonna work out but for right this second it will be fine it's gonna be just fine today's date, which is March 20th, 2022. Alright, let's get back 
that. And let's do these Smokies. All right. All right, so this says to plant them one and a half inches deep. Since they're so small, I will probably plant two per cell. With the beans, I only planted one per. They're large seeds. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, first, let's make our little divots. this way. So never mind on the toothpick. We're going to make our divots quarter inch deep and then we're going to try to just pick up two in our little fingers. seeds like weird looking they're like weird looking I don't know anyway all right these I, I think I am gonna plant two per cell on this one because it's you know The width on it is just slightly too big <laughs> to fit uh, horizontally in the or width-wise. Here, I'll show you. So this bad boy doesn't actually fit. It's just slightly too big. So what I'm gonna do is. We're gonna leave it that way 
um, and like I'll kind of uh, swap in and out like the uh, the ones that are in the middle to get um, you know, let's move it up and back a little bit the ones that are in the middle there so I'll move you know these two in and those two over here and just kind of you know shuffle them around a little bit because obviously the ones in the middle are getting the most uh, light and you know you want everybody to have light so what I'm gonna do is give this uh, a good drink to activate the seeds of goodness and um, basically keep them uh, moist. I don't have humidity domes, but we are inside my house. Like it's not a garage or anything like, like you know, this is, I think it's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's going to be great. All right. So thanks for watching today. And um, again, I'm so super excited. Like look at these little guys. So stoked. Can't wait until these grow up into big plants. Um, and for these to germinate, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. So much fun. Please cross your fingers about the strawberries because, yeah, <laughs> it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle with the strawberries. Just, I feel like third time's the charm, right? Right. So, yeah, it's gonna happen. All right, y'all have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me here at the Gardening Mug Mump and subscribe for more gardening videos. Thanks, bye.